Jesus Christ gives us ample reason to be of good cheer. Through his prophet, God has given us the challenge to persist through adversity and the teachings of Jesus Christ outline the path to prevail toward our divine destiny of eternal life. Speaking to an audience like you, President Russell M. Nelson gave this important prescription. As the world grows more and more secular and less spiritual, your growth should be more and more spiritual and less secular. The major victory for Satan. Travis Wayne Goodsell. So, after uh, Oaks's video I did, and uh, I went to shut down my laptop, again we were hit with a power outage. Russia. <clears throat> the majority of you are new, and I don't think there are very many of you who have been with me that long who know and understand the threat of Russia to America. It's well established in the press, as the government has also revealed it, that uh, Russia exposes the vulnerability of our, our infrastructure and uh, including our power grids <clears throat> and so for years now they just run random tests around america flipping on and off the switch just to see if they can still do it and uh apparently last night it was utah's turn salt lake city's turn with riverton if that wasn't a clear message to me My parents disown me, guys. Have you not been paying attention to the videos you've been downloading of mine? Yes, they do follow me and they apparently hack and download all of my information. I don't understand why I give it for free. There's no reason to hack. I guess it's just what you'd like to do. But nonetheless, they understand the information that I give you guys, whereas the majority of you, I just barely had a new follower who finally saw a video that it started to click for them. And yeah, they're horrified, as we all should be. <clears throat> so, yay. I learned 40 minutes for that last one. My goodness. It's a good thing my solar powered flashlight got preserved. So, Oaks, I'm going to do my videos in segments here for you. So, Yes, they're sort of taken out of context, but sticking with the different contexts in which he used. Because last night's video was the overall theme of it. <clears throat> and, uh, and so today I'm going to go a little more in depth into each precept that he talked about. We'll just go throughout the day. And that should be somewhat quick. Shouldn't be long videos. If I can quit rambling on, get to the point. Remember, as only 135 of you do, that Oaks <coughs> ordered Mormons who would be in attendance to watch to read not study 1st Nephi chapter 10 verse 19 
and let me go over it again with you. He did quote part of it, and that was the part that he wanted you to get from it. And so if you got anything else, that wasn't his plan. But this was his test. He's the president of the church, and my brother has failed them. <laughs> and so they need to run a test to see how successful they are at having brainwashed the youth of the church, who are now young adults. And verse 19. <clears throat> and so, yes, he was purposely using trigger words that could be interpreted multiple ways. Because remember, he's a lawyer for the sole purpose of seeing where the Mormons in the audience and then in the course of time around the world will respond to his message. And thus he can see whether or not Mormons have been properly brainwashed or whether the church educational system commissioner needs to do some revising of the manner in which the youth are taught. That's why the commissioner was in charge of it. <clears throat> For he that diligently seeketh shall find, and the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto them by the power of the Holy Ghost. And that's where he stopped. He didn't go on as well as in times, these times, as in times of old, and as well as in times of old, as in times to come. Wherefore, the course of the Lord is one eternal round. I woke up this morning to go running and uh, found at the doorstep a uh, person selling screens for our windows. I didn't build them in automatically for us. So, yeah, I have no idea how much hundreds of dollars I have to spend for one of their screens. I'm not planning on doing so. Because we've got an impending doom scenario coming our way. Because Oaks is speaking right before the destruction of America. And so he's testing his audience, as well as putting it out there to Mormons right before this destruction, in a hope to see who will survive and be obedient when the church gets to take back their kingdom. And apparently, the wicked Mormons were sleeping last night. Or were under the power outage, too. Because I had a hundred percent likes five on last night's video. Isn't that interesting? It's a tell, guys. When you use the factual information of the analytics, I can figure out what's going on. <clears throat> and so, as I've gone over with you in the original pre-video for this, he's hoping his audience has been indoctrinated to believe in faith without works. That's why he selected this one to see how Mormons are interpreting Moroni chapter 10 verses 3 through 5 by the power of the Holy Ghost. And it uses unfolded rather than manifest. And it has to do with obtaining knowledge. He that diligently seeketh shall find and the mysteries of God shall be unfolded. But what he doesn't want you to make the connection with 
is Alma, chapter 32, starting in verse 28. This is completely different than the interpretation he is creating for this first Nephi and Moroni 10 passages. He's hoping that you will have faith only and put that in your interpretation here, rather than Mer Alma chapter 32 starting in verse 28, which is what both of these are referring to. These are more general and shortened summaries of the very explicit detailed information given to us as to this, these processes that are being referred to. And it's the science of agronomy that is being used to help teach us how to obtain knowledge or unfold the mysteries or reveal the truth of all things manifest the truth of all things this is a scientific process this is secularism science is secular it only deals with what is real it does not deal with what is not real and religion because Constantine created Christianity specifically has to deal with the unreal and so they are anti-science if you're not familiar with the atrocities and abominations of the Catholic Church towards scientists during the Enlightenment this is what Oakes is telling us he has well established he is anti-science that his interpretation of the law does not include science it includes religion he wants a theocracy restored to America he wants to overthrow the secular government and return to his kingdom is Brigham Young's but he's the millennial prophet because Nelson doesn't have too much longer to live but he keeps surviving and Oaks is next in line and so you have to be paying careful attention because of other atrocities that he's speaking of that I referred to last night and so that's what secularism is and he quotes Nelson uh, in that and that's the clip that I have for you and it's got wrong written all over it because Constantine created Christianity and thus created Jesus as the Christ of Christianity they come together as a package deal and so the scriptures are not Christian scriptures they were culturally appropriated by Constantine's church and then given the new interpretation replacing the interpretation of the original Jewish authors they replaced the Jews the Jewish authors use science of agronomy for example but use symbolisms that if taken literal are supernatural not real and that's where Christianity was able to exploit this and alter the minds of the people and so Oaks is trying to do the exact same thing to Mormons testing to find out 
how successful the church has been in indoctrinating them in things that are not real, in believing that the mysteries of God don't have to do with the temple initiatories of becoming Christ, but instead the secrets that only the Holy Spirit will tell you in a spiritual witness without any works on your part. And then you interpret reading, pondering, and praying as the works. And I did notice that. That uh, there, that I think it was the girl that was speaking for, he called her Amy, uh, seemed to indicate that she had been brainwashed into that conflict in her mind. How does she punish the wicked heathens in her life? We'll get to that one. And so, yeah, this secularism is nothing to fear. It should be embraced. The scriptures tell us to do it, even the Bible. And yet, religion is seeking to overthrow even the very scriptures that they claim is the word of God. Therein lies the danger. So, pay attention to Oaks. Because it looks like we're starting to enter into the transition phase where Oaks, or, yeah, Oaks is going to take over. And so uh, I guess I need to start preparing you for... <laughs> give you a shield and a protection to you against the power of the destroyer until you have finished your work on the earth. <laughs> you should know what I'm talking about. Initiatories, magic underwear, I twisted it back around. <laughs> I shouldn't have to explain it. It is still funny, though, even after I explained it. <laughs>